welcome a guy who's just had a hit series on Channel 4, the channel we're recording for this very evening in Britain. Storm the country. He's going to storm you right now. Please welcome Mr. Jack D. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Good to be here. Just want to say one thing about this stage. I've been told not to come too close to the front because if I do that, people right at the back upstairs in the cheap seats won't be able to see me properly. They can only see that much, right? Yeah. And uh, we wouldn't want that, would we? That would be a pity, that would. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want that. Yeah. Okay? You having a good time? Right. I was on the aeroplane over here, this guy said to me, have you been to Montreal before? I said, no. He was alive, been before, I just didn't want a conversation with him, you know what I mean? I, <laughs> I thought I'd nip that one right in the bud. He said, you're going to love it, people in Canada are so friendly, they really are. Yeah. I said, what, you've met them all, have you? <laughs> so I've been having a good time, I had, I did a book signing session this afternoon, yeah? Managed to scribble my name in three encyclopedias before I got thrown out of the shop. So. <laughs> you know, I went into a hi-fi shop you got here. I was looking at, I was looking at the, the stereos, right? Just minding my own business. And a salesman came up to me, very pushy young man. You know, the sort of comes up, you know, like that. <laughs> so I, uh, you know, I get up off the ground. And, uh, you know, we discuss who'll pay for what and that. <laughs> and he goes, uh, why don't you buy yourself a compact disc player? Like that. Because yeah. he had a microphone, see? <laughs> right. He goes, why don't you buy yourself a compact disc player? I said, I don't need one. I've got a record player. I, I have no need for a compact. He said, yes, but there's no comparison. You get a CD, you get the feeling the band's actually in the room with you. It's incredible. So, <laughs> I like the Pogues, I don't want them in my house, thanks. <laughs> you know. no, what, what happens if you get the Pogues on CD? We get bad breath coming out of the speaker at you or something. Is that, you know, what are you missing out on here? I can't think of anything worse than a machine in my house that makes me think I'm somewhere else. I don't know, well, you put the live album on, you're there, you're at the rock festival, like, you know, you're going to take a piss behind the couch or something, you know? Oh, <laughs> uh, come on, come and do it over here, no one's going to notice you do it here, yeah? Yeah, warm, yeah, so uh, queue up for three quarters now to get a warm can of coke out of your own kitchen, yeah? <laughs> I think you should go the whole way, put the record sleeve right down the bottom of your garden and pretend you can see fine, you know? I don't know, machines, less machines and gadgets I have in my house, the happier I am. So I feel about it. I've got an answer phone, it's got an attitude problem. It has. Three days, no messages. All of a sudden it goes, oh, I forgot to tell you, Tony rang. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but I got, I got a VCR, doesn't record the program, just kind of watches it and tells me what happened, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, Rose Amazon, it's a good one, you missed it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, I'm glad you had a nice time watching my television. Jumped up little clock. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> if you could just laugh in time, it would help me. You know, <laughs> that's what we're here for. I can't stand it when people laugh out of time like that. You know what I mean? Because it just kind of underlines the pointlessness of what I'm doing here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and to a comedy show, you have a good time. Yeah, I had a good time. But I would have had a good time anyway. <laughs> I just laugh at anything, me. <laughs> yep, I'm mad. I am. <laughs> Machines, gadgets, they're wrecking our lives. And the latest thing I want us to have, black boxes in cars. Yeah, they're going to put black boxes in cars. Now, I think it's a big good idea. We could, that would reveal a lot, wouldn't it? Listen to those last few moments of conversation in the car before the accident. I think we'd find out a few little home truths, don't you? <laughs> I think, I think it'd be like, hmm, reduce speed now. Well, I think I know when to apply my brakes and when to... <laughs> Oh, leave it to me, I'll tune their bloody radio. <laughs> you do not fold a roadmap like that. Give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> oh, 
All right, my way. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I want to be a woman. <laughs> It's a terrible thing when you forget what you're about to say, isn't it? <laughs> In front of 4,000 people. That's, uh, that's, a hor that's horrible. That's, that's a bit like, um, it's like that feeling of when you're having sex with your partner, you run out of, of people to think of. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no, come on. That's not my, I didn't, I didn't write that line, so. But... No, my wife thought that one up, actually. I was and, and shopping, I was out shopping at the supermarket. I go to the supermarket, right? And, the, and supermarkets are the same the world over. This is something, but people behave the same in supermarkets wherever they are. Like they get really close up to you in the queue. You know, looking over your shoulder, they have to know what you bought, don't they? What's he got in there? He likes little cakes. Nah. <laughs> little, little cakey wakeys, eh? Yeah. You know what I do, I get that situation. You know what I do? You know that baton says, next customer, please? Yeah? It has a use. Look at that. Say, excuse me, see this? See this, right? That's you, okay? And I want you to stand... <laughs> over there, okay? I was in a supermarket the other day, and people are so pathetic in supermarkets, yeah? I had a trolley load of stuff, a mountain load of stuff in my, in my shopping trolley. And I'm at, the, I'm at the checkout counter, it's my turn, right? And this man standing behind me, he's just got a basket and a carton of milk in it, you know? Just, and I said, is that all you've got? He said, yes, it is actually. Yeah. <laughs> I said, well, you might as well fuck off now, I'm gonna be hours, I mean, you know. <laughs> why, why do parents always take their children to supermarkets to smack them? What is that about? This is something I noticed because they do this. I saw this the other day, this little three-year-old, and he's being, he sat in the trolley like they do, you know, and his mum's pushing him around and doing the shopping. And, and he sees something he wants, right? And he thinks, I love them, I will I like them, I've had them before, I like them. I'll get them open in a minute, right? <laughs> and his mum says, now, if you don't put those back, I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> and he goes, I'm gonna get them open. <laughs> And it's, it's, he smacks him, and he cries, and it's all a big, you know. I mean, why, why not just let him learn the hard way, for Christ's sake, you know? It's only a packet of tampons, you know? <laughs> He's not going to do that again in a hurry, is he, you know? <laughs> you know the incredible expanding sweetie. <laughs> I'll just put them back, they're not as nice as I thought they was. <laughs> Good night, cheers. Yes, it is. Tremendous stuff.